Uh, you've obviously been seeing and feeling the tension escalating. After weeks of escalation, Russia has indeed launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, attacking the country's infrastructure, military bases. This is said to be the biggest attack by one country against another in Europe since World War II. Madeline Rivera is live in Washington, uh, following all the latest developments for us. And there are updates by the moment, Madeline. Bring us up to speed. Good morning, Michaela. Yes, this is a situation that is changing every minute, every second. But Ukrainian officials are calling this a full-scale invasion of their country, reporting attacks coming from all sides. It really began with explosions early in the morning Ukrainian time. Uh, a lot of those airstrikes and missiles were hitting military bases, military airports. And then there are Russian ground forces crossing into the country as well. So there have been clashes on the ground. Uh, meanwhile, we're seeing these scenes of just heavy traffic heading outside of people, heading outside of the capital of Kiev. And, uh, you know, we're also uh, hearing of people flooding banks, uh, trying to get cash from the ATMs while they're still working. Uh, and also, uh, we're hearing reports of people hunkering down in the subways because that right now, that is the safest place to be, obviously, with a threat of bombs and explosions going in the country. So, you know, you're hearing a lot of Maybe some panic there, a lot of panic, but at the same time, uh, the president of the country, uh, Vladimir Zelensky, is urging people to stay calm. He has declared martial law, and he is asking people who want to defend the country, those who are able, he's offering to give them weapons. A lot of Ukrainian people have been defiant. They're ready to stand up for their country, defend their country in the face of this incredible danger, Michaela. An incredible danger, such uncertainty and, and such strife for the yeah. people of Ukraine. Let's talk about the global response. We're, we're aware of what President Biden has uh, been trying to do in terms of diplomatic efforts. We're set to hear from him a little later this morning. But what are we hearing from neighboring countries, other global leaders? Well, Western leaders have been pretty united in their response towards Russia. There's a lot of international condemnation here. NATO's leader calling this an act of war again against Ukraine. And they are getting ready to roll out sanctions. The European Union, the United Kingdom, they're getting to unveil new sanctions against Russia. And the United States is preparing to do the same. Uh, President Biden is expected to give more details about those significant sanctions, as a senior administration official is calling them, when he speaks to the American people later this afternoon. As you alluded to, Michaela. And we know some of the neighboring European countries and other European nations are expecting an influx of Ukrainians trying to flee yeah. uh, for safety. Uh, it's a fraught situation, uh, to say the least. Madeline, we'll lean on you again. Thanks so much. And again, we are expecting to hear the president uh, talk about the U.S. response uh, a little later this morning. We'll bring those comments to you live.